Welcome to Threads of Enlightenment, your journey into personal growth. The splendor of any decision is after you've made it, all that remains to be seen are its consequences. My name is Ken Primus. I am your host. Here at Threads of Enlightenment, we talk about the principles of self-development and personal growth. By having conversation with people who have walked through their journey, personal growth. We believe that everyone at some point in their life will have to deal with one or more of these principles to have the privilege of focusing on their self-development as humans. These principles, when applied, can help you become the best self possible. Welcome to Threads of Enlightenment. My name is Kim Primus. I am your host. In this episode, we are going to take a look at how to begin using your gift. In the last episode, we talked about first finding your gift and uh, how it's very important that um, it is one of our assignments once we are here on this planet to find our gift and then to um, begin to use our gift. Uh, I know it sounds pretty simple, um, how to begin using your gift, something like that, um, uh, but there's a lot of people that uh, find it difficult to move from uh, the place once they've located their gift and then to begin using the gift. You become in somewhat, uh, uh, you can say they become paralyzed in their approach or just paralyzed because of uh, overthinking. They're paralyzed because of fear, which basically is the case. And um, they are paralyzed because uh, it uh, makes you vulnerable to step outside uh, once you begin to um, find out who you are and how you are, with what your gift is. Why is that? Because uh, a lot of people will not understand um, you doing what you're about to do or you feel in your heart that you need to do. And that's their problem, to be honest. It's not your problem. Because each and every one of us have our own gift. And it is our responsibility to find that. Um, some of us are guided through by teachers and other people and so forth. But um, each and every one of us is born with some type of gift, and um, it really truly is our responsibility to find that. So once you have located your gift, and I in the last episode I told you that one of the exercises that I would uh, do with my children was um, was basically have them close their eyes and and uh, have them uh, picture themselves the richest person on the planet. Uh, what would you do? And once you go past the things, buying of things and all of these different things, you'll find the core because they'll come out and say, I would do this because I just love to do that. And so once you have been to that place, once you have visited and uh, you have now found your gift, then how do you begin to use it? You know, um, I remember uh, Rade had said that um, our gift is not something that we actually use, but rather it's something that uses us. And I think that is so powerful in its statement is that um, we become our, our actions, our, our, uh, our desires, our, our you know, how to um, begin uh, to come from that place. And we become tools of that. Um, of, of of our gift, and so as she mentioned, it's it's not something that uh, we use, but it's rather something that uses us. And that uh, once we are beginning to uh, to move from that space, that uh, we from you walking through from a place of fear to a place of faith, where you're allowing your higher self uh, to begin to guide you beyond your comfort zone, as they say. So 
Um, I have this little thing that I say, living from your purpose will always make you purposeful. And so those are the times I would tell my kids is once you find your purpose, you know, be passionate about it and uh, to the place where uh, uh, it, it consumes you and, and, and causing you, meaning it uh, causes you to, to take one step and another step and another step while someone is saying to you, no, 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 no. No, and so you will always have those people that um, will always disagree with you. But who cares? To, to be honest, who really cares? I mean, they have many of those people don't even know what their gifts are. They haven't um, started their journey or anything. They're just critical, and so they're critical of their life, and because they're critical of their life. They become critical of yours. And so we, we have a tendency to let people's opinion uh, carry so much weight that it prevents us from living our true life and our, uh, our destiny. And so we have to learn how to, to look at things differently. I know, you know a friend of mine, a good friend of mine, she always says perspective is every, everything, and we talked about that. And it's truly the key. Perspective is the key, and so um, you have to take away this power that we we seem to just surrender to people um, uh, that uh, we don't, you know, they really don't have a handle on their life, and uh, their opinion of us carries so much weight that it's causing us constantly to to live in below our our calling and our greatest life. And so we need to stop uh, surrendering our, our our life and our thoughts and our, our destiny to people who, who are not doing anything of theirs. Because if they were doing anything of their life and their purpose, they would have understood and then they would be able to support you. Because each and every one of us has a different uh, gift that we are gifted with that we are able to um, to partake of. And how beautiful it is to, to see someone else doing theirs. And you have the ability to encourage them and say, hey, go for it, you know. And uh, you can, you and that person can have a relationship and build a strong, stronger relationship uh, based on the fact that uh, you both recognize each other pursuing their goals and their desires and so forth. Um, but we do have a tendency uh, to surrender uh, or giving up versus pushing through and um, because of people's opinion of us. And I think this is one of the main things that we have to overcome in beginning to use our gift. And uh, uh, as I said before, and I, I just love what Rade, the co-author of our book, uh, Threads of Enlightenment, uh, her, her, her take on it is that, you know, it's not something that uses, that, that we use our gift, but it's rather something that uses us. And, um, once we've come to a place where we are able to allow our gift to use us, uh, think of the beauty that, um, what you give to that other person that is receiving the other aspect of your gift. Whatever it is, I mean, like I said, I believe that there, uh, people are gifted in businesses, people are gifted in, in sports, music, uh, people are gifted in, in so many different aspects of life, um, people are gifted in communication, uh, people are gifted in, 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 in little things. And I believe each and every one of those things that we are gifted in are, we are able to somehow uh, learn to sustain ourselves, our families from that place. But uh, we have to learn how to take this gift of ours, take a look at different industries, and see how you could put that into place. I was having a conversation with um, uh, with someone this morning about um, me. I know that one of my uh, gifts that I have is basically insights in certain things, spiritual things that I've always had 
access to within myself. And you know how you know is that people will constantly come up to you and say this, say this, say that, and uh, would be pointing you towards the fact that uh, I'm a good teacher. And so um, I couldn't for years because of my children and um, my life and, you know, life has a way of happening, uh, divorce and all these other things that I kind of those things aside um, and that uh, I wasn't really pursuing it per se, uh, but all uh, every day of my life. I I was being used in that. People would come to me for advice here and there all through my life. I mean, every day of my life, basically, uh, people would come to me with this problem, that problem, and so forth. So I was operating within my gift, but um, we, we, we tend to not really look at that um, as being a part of the gift. We expect to be in this, you know, thousands, this arena of thousands of people and so forth. But my gift was being used on a daily basis to to reach people, to help people to see things differently, to have a different perspective of how things are in their life and how to overcome where they are. You know. And so in this conversation, I was talking to them about how uh, the universe, I said that the universe rejoices when uh, when we operate from this place of destiny because we are, we are doing it from a place of love. You are not doing it from a place of judgment when you speak to that person and do your, 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 your gift when you operate from there. It's not from a place of judgment. It's not a place of anything else but a place of respect and love. And so it is important that you and I both find uh, our gift because every time someone came to me, you know, as much as I was having a, a, a hard time or whatever, I would put that aside and um, look at that person's need and then begin to flow in my gift by offering the advice uh, from a different perspective from what I've been looking at versus what they're looking at. And so it it brought me joy uh, for that split minute uh, or a couple of minutes that I'm talking to these people to see how their eyes change when they they kind of see the advice and begin to take it and begin to operate it in their life and, and freedom. And um, and then it, you know, uh, uh, but my point is that from that space, I, I was just focused on their needs for my ego and all the other things aside so that I can minister, as they say, this person's need and advice and so forth that they needed. You know, um, you and I should, should try our very best to run straight into the arms of destiny because it's a place that we, it's strength. Um, there's a place of, of peace. Um, and it's a place where you, you and I can be able to help one another, where we can love one another. And um, it's like once you find your gift, you know, I, I remember in the book I use an example of a baby walking where you get up and a uh, uh, baby, uh, you know, takes a couple of steps, falls down, takes a couple of steps, falls down, but gets up and so forth. And so um, people are going to constantly look at you and try to control your your growth. And as I mentioned earlier in the podcast, that, don't give it to them. You, know, you and I have a place where we just kind of surrender from time to time. And um, I look at my life, I look at other friends and people's life and see how people's opinion of us have uh, really played a part. In, preventing us from living our full life. And uh, uh, as I mentioned earlier, it's one of our responsibilities to really, really put those people in places. Just uh, think for a minute, you know, um, if uh, uh, people through history had um, allowed 
uh, um, people's opinion of them to dictate what they did. A perfect example. Uh, let's take a look at uh, Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln ran for office so many times that he lost and all this kind of stuff. But imagine if he had listened to people, what a different place America would be today. You know, what about the, the founding fathers when they got together to put this piece, this doc, document together? Um, the naysayers who had gathered and told them, no, they can't do that, or they, they couldn't put it together. What a different place America would have been. Henry Ford, Benjamin Franklin, Jesse Owens, Muhammad Allen, all of these personalities, if they had listened to other people and not, you know, step out and do and operate from their gift, what can you imagine the world would be like had they stayed inside and not understand the principles that uh, govern the, the aspects of, of, you know, baby getting up, falling, getting up, and uh, not concerned about any other's opinion of you, but that baby's just focusing on getting up and walking, taking one step, taking another step, going uh, until that baby's able to stand up and, um, uh, you know, walk continually without falling. And so, as you and I embark on this part of our life, yeah, where we're, we're finding our gift and then beginning to operate in it. Um, mine is, as I said, is teaching. And um, I'm using the venue of podcasts to be able to operate and to do my gift. And um, sometimes it is uh, um, difficult because of uh, planning and certain things that happen uh, within family and, and self and so forth. But my goal is never to give up, to keep stepping day by day by day by day. And as I've mentioned to you that at this podcast is that my goal is that whatever wisdoms that I've gained through, um, the fire, as they say, um, I try to put it into these podcasts so that People that are going through the fire about uh, learning all the aspects of yourself, becoming this better self for you, number one, and then for your family and your friends and so forth as it um, expands out. But this particular process, finding your gift and utilizing your gift, um, is very fulfilling. It is also... Um, it could be uh, uh, difficult, but uh, just like the baby getting up to walk, it's difficult, but um, it's a new thing. The baby, be, uh, before that, the baby was crawling around all over the place. But um, like a baby, I'm using this baby as an example, is that each individual baby, when they are ready, you'll see them begin to make that, um, that uh, next phase, the next step in their in their progress. And some babies will mature faster than others, but that baby will still get to where they're going. But it's a different rate and so a different uh, uh, space. I remember my second son, Josiah, when he was born, it took him he was a premature baby and it took him a little longer uh, to um, to walk than uh, his elder brother, um, but and I remember those the, the the time when when he was taking his steps when he was uh, beginning to take his first steps and so forth, and with some coaching from a very good friend of mine, um, he was able to take those steps and so forth. And I remember watching that whole situation, and so it's the same in our life. And sometimes it's, uh, you know, um, you may say, people may say gone. Uh, some people will say the universe will bring that person in your life to help you to take the next step, whether it's a teacher, whether it's a coach, whether it's a friend, whether it's a family member, whatever, whoever. Uh, they will come and 
uh, assist you now to begin to take those steps. And um, some people excel in sports, but uh, this is this, you know, these things are just, I, I don't even think that uh, some of those are like your gift. Um, I believe that uh, some people are more uh, talented in a particular sports and so forth, but you'll see even some of those sports guys um, that uh, they're who are talented basketball players uh, make a, a, a life through that, but their gift is something else. Um, I could think of uh, Raymond Tisdale, who's an excellent uh, basketball player, and um, but his gift uh, was music. He loved uh, playing music. He was one of the best bass players I've ever heard, um, and I love his music, but he was a basketball player. He's talented, but uh, his gift is that of uh, music in uh, in the arena of music. He's a bass player, and um, uh, if you get a chance to listen to some excellent music from Raymond Tisdale, who is an excellent uh, basketball player, who whose love or gift was uh, music, and so I wanted to use that as an example to see. To show you that um, your profession, you may be talented in your profession, whatever that is. If it's marketing, if it's business, if it's if it's um, uh, uh, teaching, whatever it is. But you could be talented as a teacher, but your gift could be something else. And so it really becomes personal, where you begin to look within yourself to get this answer. And, um, you know, uh, where you begin to look for your gift uh, versus uh, talent, because it's two different things. And um, I guarantee you that your gift is where you are supposed to be, where you give from, where you are reaching into someone else's life, uh, someone else's energy. And... uh, uh, you're giving the, and relating to that person from there. And there's this joy, there's something else deeper that at a um, spiritual level that then you're giving and operating from that place is different from that of your talent. And so our goal at this uh, podcast is to help you to to think a little, uh, to expand your thoughts, expand your perspective, see where you're at um, and uh, what you need to do to change. Uh, I'm just giving you little nuggets here and there for you to begin to ask yourself questions. Um, why am I here? What of this? What of that? And uh, begin to ask uh, what is something that I love to do Versus um, my profession. Uh, what am I? Where is my place in the growth of mankind? And it's not just your growth; it's the growth of mankind. And I think because many of us are not spending the time to learn to um, stretch ourselves, begin to find out who we are as individuals, but also in the collective of mankind to help mankind grow from one uh, um, degree of development to another. And um, you take a look at what's happening today out in the world, and it's, it could, if you look at it, it could be a very dark, sad place. Um, but I think if you look at it through a different perspective, it can be a place of opportunity, a place of growth, a place um, where we can come together uh, and share wisdom, uh, a place where we could come together and share insights. Uh, so even though I believe uh, around us is uh, darkness, there is still much to be done if you just change your perspective and begin to learn to find your purpose and so that you can become purposeful in your living uh, purposeful in your, your giving to people 
purposefully finding this destiny, finding this gift that you and I have, uh, that I believe that each and every one of us have as um, living beings on this planet. The human spirit, uh, how, how we are designed, the human spirit is always seeking uh, for more. Um, it's not satisfied with money because if uh, the human spirit was satisfied with money, you wouldn't have millionaires and billionaires committing suicide. Uh, so it must be something else. Um, it's, poverty is not the answer. Um, or you wouldn't have so many people trying to get out of it. So um, you know, money is not the answer because we wouldn't see so many people uh, lives are being destroyed by it because they, they pursue it. Um, they become blind. And money is not, again, our, our success is not a gift. Um, <laughs> you know, people spend most of their life chasing stuff, what we call success, and um, miss the entire act, uh, uh, purpose that I'm living. And um, uh, you know, so we need to rethink, I think uh, society needs to rethink purpose of why we're here. Um, so we know that poverty is not the answer. We know that wealth is not the answer. And so we know that um, uh, there's a, a Paul said to to the, one of the disciples, one of the apostles actually, he said um, that we ought to learn how to be, um, you know, be uh, uh, in all things. The statement he said that we need to learn how to be um, present. And in all, and appreciate all things. And, um, there's some wisdom to that where, uh, you and I, uh, uh, you know, need to find out, uh, to be satisfied, but to be, keep moving and keep, keep pushing to where we need to be. I'm talking about pushing from the inside, not pushing to attain things, but pushing yourself, pushing to the next level, pushing as the baby walks, you know, begins to push through, to push through fear, to push through doubt, push through all these other things that people, um, would say that uh, you're crazy. You know, Abraham Lincoln pushed through and America is a different place. Um, you know, uh, you have Henry Ford, he pushed through and the world is a different place. Uh, you have Abraham, uh, you have Benjamin Franklin, he pushed through. In the world is a different place. Um, we have all of these people push through. And so you and I, we have to learn how to push through people's uh, opinion of us, push through fear, and walk into that next place where it's, it's unfamiliar, but the belief is strong within yourself that uh, the next step is heading to where you want to be. The next step is getting to that place where people, another set of people are going to be there and say, you're crazy. But that next step is there. And at each step, you're going to meet people that will continue to say to you, you're nuts. Oh, what's wrong with you? But you cannot allow their opinion and take a look at their life and see they haven't really gone and done anything with their life. They may have gotten some money and all that kind of stuff, but they're horribly uh, horribly depressed, they're horribly mentally sick. Um, you name it, look at them and you'll see for yourself. Don't let them tell you what you can do. You're trying to do something different. You're trying to go to a different place than where they don't ever want to be or, or, or haven't gotten the strength or the insight to even start. Um, and so don't allow them to, you know, dictate where you're going. You know, so get to where you want to be and have them look at you and go and, you know, and be jealous of when you get there. And so, you know, if you, if you want to live, but, you know, you have to find your gift and then begin to move towards that, you know, because there's life in there. There's something different, you know, that uh, people get. There's an energy there. Uh, once you know what you want to do, simply learn how to do it, and then go ahead and do it. As Nike says, just do it. Um, put in the 
put in the work, put in the work. The baby, when the baby starts to learn to walk, the baby puts in the work. And so, uh, you and I need to start putting in the work. The baby will get up and fall, and then you'll see the baby sit there for a little while. And, um, but that baby did not get up. The baby will be up there again. And then one day, if you're not really paying attention, your baby is walking back and forth to you, and it, it, it hits you that, you know, this baby walked. So, just the same thing is going to happen to, to you is that as you get up and you move, one day some of those friends or those people will look around and realize that you, you did what you said you were going to do, you know? And so, um, but once you begin to find your gift, and like I said, it's a little different than your talent. I don't know what that is. You know? I, I wish I knew that I could say there or there or whatever. But it is your responsibility to go and find it. Look at your talent is different from your gift. As I mentioned, I just used, um, you know, Raymond Tisdale, great basketball player, um, one of the best jazz musicians out there, um, one of the best jazz players, uh, bass players. And so, and he mentioned that. I remember him talking about that. He's a talented basketball player, but his gift is that of music and playing and, and producing music as a bass player. So, um, I hope that uh, this particular podcast has prompted something in you to begin to say, you know, I, I, I want to be, I want to do something different. I, I want to find what that is. I want to find what 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 Ken is talking about. Um, I'm curious. Let me put some thoughts. Let me begin to take a a little deeper look at my life. Let me begin to put in the work as the baby does. Uh, let me put in the, 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 um, the energy to go past the, the, the naysayers. Let me put in the energy to go past fear. Let me put the, the work to get past, uh, um, you know, the disappointments and all of, all of that stuff. But that's what I'm trying to tell you about that baby. Um, uh, I'm using the, the baby uh, as an example. The disappointment of that baby, but that baby sits there and, you know, he's, he's at it again. And so, um, don't be fearful and not move, but, um, come back tomorrow. Come back five minutes later. Come back. Pick up yourself. And what you're looking to do is, is get the faith within yourself about mm-hmm. yourself. And so, um, take your faith within yourself about yourself and begin to stand up and begin to take those steps one at a time, one at a time. And a couple of months from now, you'll be in a different place and you will recognize it. But most importantly, you will recognize it. And so you will be able to um, uh, begin to recognize your gift, uh, which is different from your, your, your um, talent. And you begin to live from that space and begin to be effective for yourself, for your family, for your friends, and for the world. And so, again, it is my hope that uh, you begin to take this journey and using your gift. And usually the things that will prevent you from using your gift is usually fear um, and, you know, and what people think about you and all that type of stuff. And we've gone past that now where we need to... Now we begin to stretch ourselves a little further, stretch our, our, our belief in, you know, a little further, stretch it to the place that you begin to take your first step. And once you take your first step, you will be on your way. Um, until next time, this is uh, Ken Primus at um, Threads of Enlightenment. Thank you. Everyone who's listening to this podcast, we hope to continually help you to learn how to embrace moments of darkness, because it is in the darkness that we learn how to develop and use our abilities to truly see those parts of ourselves often invisible to us in the light. It becomes your responsibility to navigate through all of your trials, to find out who you truly are and begin your journey to loving yourself which is possibly one of the most difficult things you will ever do 
in your life. To love yourself and to find the real you. But always remember to enjoy the journey. Thank you for coming by. Please subscribe. And if you can support us financially, we deeply appreciate it. You can do this by hitting the heart button. Until next time, invite your family, friends, neighbors, anyone that you can. You can hear us on Buzzsprout, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Apple Music, iHeartRadio, CastBox, Overcast, and many more. Thank you.